Over the years, I have made hundreds of samples of different types of papers. These are all sealed in plastic because I want to keep them nice and clean. This tutorial today is going to be about making something really gothic. Today I'm going to show you how to make some gothic paper. You're going to need some screen. You're going to need two frames from, you can go to any art store and just buy two canvases, strip the canvas off, get two identical frames and use the same screen that you'll be using to coat one of the frames like I had done. I just use a staple, bang, 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 put it on there just like the canvas was. So you now have this type of style. The reason is that you're going to be putting a screen in between here when you go in to pull up. Next thing you're going to be using is a bucket, a large bin. I'm going to be having some black acrylic paint today. I'm going to be using some violet acrylic paint today. An old blender. Go to any thrift store. Get one for five bucks. Do not use your good one in your kitchen. Do not use anything that's used with food material. Go to a thrift store and get a used junk one because mixing this type of stuff and food together is a no-no. Don't do it. Next here is uh, some recycled paper that we use just one time to wipe our hands on. Okay, there it is. We've got some really cool stuff today, so let's make up some gothic paper. I have just filled up my glass blender with about halfway filled with water. It doesn't have to be warm or anything. Now I'm putting some of these paper towels into our blender. I'm not going to put too many in there because I just I don't want the, the machine to be overworked. But we're going to blend these into a pulp today. So let's do that. Once you get this nice and ground up, I'm using the pulp. <laughs> make sure the fibers are all separated. You can add a color to your mixture. Today, I think I'll use the black today to start off with because we're, we're feeling kind of goth today. So we're going to be putting about, about two or three inches worth of paint in there and the lid back on here. And we're going to process this color. <laughs> Now, if you like the color, great. If you want to go darker than this, even better. I'm going to put some more paint in there and see how dark we can make this. Let's do that now. Get your base and half fill with water. Just pour your mixture right in. Agitate it a little bit. And get the fibers throughout the whole water. Now comes the fun part. I'm taking one of my screens and I'm putting it on top of the other screen and I'm using the frame to create the right size of paper. What we're going to do now is a dip method. And we're going to go in to our fibers, let the fibers collect and pull up. We can do this several times to get enough fiber on there. Okay, so I had made two sheets. Actually, I made four sheets today. This is two sheets. And there are two sheets. So I had made four sheets today. Let's get them dry and see what they're gonna look like. Oh, and it's been over 24 hours and we have a very, very unique paper that was formed. So let's take it off of our screens, starting now. And look, we have four beautiful pieces of archival, ancient looking paper from very, very gothic. Can imagine what kind of project I can make out of this. How does it come off the screen? You put your thumb behind there, it comes right off. So nice. And a close up of the beautiful texture of our paper. And a close up of the beautiful texture of our paper. 